When the time came to do our third wood joint torture test, we'd already conducted joint tests on things like uh, face frame joints, joints that you'd use for plywood cabinetry, and drawers and other typical indoor furniture components. In this test, though, we wanted to try something different. We wanted to test joints that would be used in outdoor projects. And that meant testing the adhesives used to assemble those joints. So we came up with two typical joints used in outdoor projects, a half lap and a mortise and tenon. For both the mortise and tenon and the half lap joints, we made six joint samples of the four types of adhesives that we tested. A type three waterproof adhesive, a type two water resistant adhesive, epoxy and polyurethane. Half of each group of samples went into our nice air conditioned workshop. The other half went up on our roof where they were tortured by months of record snowfall, high amounts of rain, temperature changes, and shirt soaking humidity. We used the same type of test apparatus as in the two previous torture tests. A stationary steel plate rests on the horizontal portion of the sample joint. The vertical piece is secured in a jig, secured to a large piston that slowly pushes upward until the joint fails. A computer program graphs the force and records the point at which the joint fails. In this case, it was 408 pounds per square foot. Let's take a look at how each of the four adhesives performed. The Type 3 adhesives started out fairly strong and lost very little of their original strength as we tested with our indoor samples. As you can see, any adhesive that lets you rip off the tenons on two samples is more than strong enough to hold your projects together. Even in the sample that didn't rip off a tenon had large amounts of wood transfer. When we started testing the outdoor adhesives, we didn't really have any preconceptions that one would be better than the other, but we did know that type 2 adhesives are marketed as being water resistant, not necessarily waterproof. So we weren't sure if they would perform as well as the type 3s. They did. As you can see from this mortise and tenon, the type 2 adhesive on here tore away large amounts of wood, and even on the tenon, wood transferred from the inside walls of this mortise. On the half lap, the results were even more remarkable. Just about every surface here shows some form of wood transfer, some of it massive. So, if you're in doubt as to whether the Type 2 on your shelf is good enough for your next outdoor project, it is. Epoxy has been used as an outdoor adhesive for years and for good reason. As you can see from this mortise and tenon joint, the tenon was pulled halfway out and then snapped off by the strength of the adhesive. On the half lap, wood transferred to both pieces of wood in both large chunks and small layers. Although epoxy tested much higher in the indoor samples than it did the outdoor samples, the outdoor samples still had tremendous amounts of strength left. Though the polyurethane adhesive didn't perform quite as well as the other three types of adhesive we used, it does show that there's a lot of strength in this glue joint. As you can see, there's large chunks of wood coming off between these two pieces and an even bigger piece on this inside shoulder on this outdoor joint. On the mortise and tenon joints, well, they didn't quite fare as well. There is tear out from the piece of wood at the end here and some around the shoulders, but not so much on the tenon itself.
One thing to remember about this joint test that makes it so different from all the others that we've done before is that we're not really comparing one adhesive against another. We're comparing the strength of the adhesive to the strength of the surrounding wood because if the adhesive outlasts the wood, it's a winner.